Hey there, Scorpio. Hope you guys' week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what we need to talk about for your guys' highest good today. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio. Tell about Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, shame. Two more. Disappointed. Contemplation here. Somebody knows that you don't trust them here. Something about not letting this person make you feel shame. Like somebody tried to make you just be in this guilt and shame energy here. And it's like a, a contemplating energy that's trying to put you back in those emotions again. What's the overall energy for Scorpio? Thank you. Doubt. So this person worked hard to try to get you to doubt yourself, doubt your intuition here. Could be some unanswered things said between the two of you, but you can't trust this person. So this person will let you down again if you let them back. Grief. This is someone that caused you a lot of grief and pain. And now this person wants to try to come back and make it seem like they now appreciate you. They now understand who you are to them. Scorpio. Scorpio, thank you. Do what you want to do. Free spirit, joyful, happy energy. You're in the water, so dolphins, they're, like I said, they're happy, they're joyful. Um, in touch with your feelings, trusting your intuition, and just being at flow with life right now. Just knowing that better things are coming for you and just enjoying life until it does. Let go of your inner thoughts, so watch what you're telling yourself here. So if you start, like, because that's that doubting energy. Like, that's what this person worked really hard is to have you stuck in your head here. And I still feel like they want to try to do this to you. So if you start getting, like, negative thoughts, make sure that you're redirecting your thoughts to positive thoughts here. So this person really worked hard to try to mind F you, man. Scorpio. Scorpio. Thank you. Focus. I am able to stay focused on my ideals and bring them into fruition. So all about keeping your eyes on the prize, staying in your lane, and, and keeping that focus. Not losing focus of what you're wanting to do here for yourself here. And we got success at the bottom here. So don't take your eyes off of this uh, success that you've got going on here. I connect with my higher self before I take action. When I do so, everything I touch brings abundance and success here. So you've got that Midas touch. You're able to... Um, Make things happen with your thoughts here. You can Your thoughts create your reality. So you got to be careful what you're telling yourself, especially when it comes to the success department here. You only limit yourself by telling you, like if you say, I can't do this, then you're not going to be able to do it because you're telling yourself that you can't do it. So you're definitely in your successful era, though, and I feel like you're going more towards that. That's why this energy is contemplating towards you again. They don't like how good you're doing. What needs to be surrendered for Scorpio, please? What needs to be surrendered for Scorpio? I just saw that surrender denial. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So this is about you getting your passion and your drive back up for life here. Getting yourself around people that want to uplift you, not tear you down. Getting, um, Finding activities that ignite your soul that just make you feel good, make you feel like you got a purpose in life here. So, And then surrender frustration. Frustration, frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to re <laughs> the key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. So, not letting this energy frustrate you because that's what this person likes to do. And there's something here about you really watching your thoughts with this frustrating energy because it's like this person sees that you're focused on something other than them. And it's like they want to try to knock you off of that focus. Don't let them do that. Surrender your, to your creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideals about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem here. So just really getting tapped into your creative side. So you may have something that you want to do for yourself that has to do with your, your creativity and that's going to pull in more success for you. So if you've got an ideal that you're wanting, go for it. Some of you guys are already doing this. That's why you've got to keep that focus going here. So something about you, just your transformation and the way that you hold mirrors up, like you know how to reflect that energy like back to others and like 
that this energy or some other people that you may encounter in your life, they don't like that. Like you make people, you trigger people's demons is what I like to call it. So, Six of Pentacles was flipped over. So breadcrumbing, one-sided connection. Someone that wasn't, um, like you were overextending yourself to this energy and they were not reciprocating that back to you at all. Tell me about shame here. Why is that here? Three of Wands. See, this person used shame to try to keep you stuck waiting. So now this person sees that you're looking outward and you've got beautiful things in store for you. And now this person wants to try to make you feel bad because you're moving on with your life and you, you're, you've got... Um, a lot of ideals and things for yourself and like now this person is still trying to figure out how to keep you in that shaming energy tell me more tell me more about that tell me more about that the sun so this person's realizing something here and also you have clearly seen this for what it is too so it's like their behavior has been illuminated to you you see this person and what they do to you so, and this person sees how joyful your life is. They see you doing something here with your life, and they want to make you feel bad for it. Try to shame you back into this connection. Some of you guys could be opening back up for uh, new love connections here, and they want to make you feel bad for that. They want to make you feel bad because you don't want to entertain this relationship anymore, and they want to make you feel bad because either you're going to be on your own or you want to open up for new. Yeah, some of you guys want to stay single. So they want to also make you feel bad because you would rather be by yourself than entertain this connection. So your growth looks good. You look good. Finances are looking good. Everything that you touch has that Midas effect, which we see on that success card. That's what you got going on here. And this person wants to make you feel bad for it. This is somebody that is used to you going back and forth, playing these 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 games with them. Like this person liked to keep you off balance by shaming you. So... Now that you've balanced your life out and you're moving forward, they want to try to shame you some more. Here they come trying to communicate. So this is someone that knows that you have all this forward movement here. So now they want to come towards you with this heartfelt emotion, but it's guilt tripping. It's shaming you because they've been watching you and they've been watching you keep your silence. Something here about your intuition, like this person, like your intuition is on point, by the way. This is someone that liked to gaslight you and try to dummy down your intuition. And you you know, because when you feel that something's off, it's because it is. So trust that. And like I said, this person knows that you're remaining a mystery. Like you're really, um, they're seeing some things about your life, but there's some other things that they're not quite sure about. So that's why they're trying to come in and get closer to you and try to shame you because they're trying to get information out of you. Tell me about disappointed. This person's disappointed because you don't want to be in this connection with them anymore. Like, this is someone that let you down. This is someone that you didn't, they, you guys didn't see eye to eye on the relationship. So, you have been grounding yourself. You have been patient with yourself. And you need to continue doing this because this energy that's trying to come back for you, they want to knock you off balance here. So... This, this is about not letting anybody let you down in connections anymore. This is about you showing up for yourself now. Like, if this person went towards another connection, I feel like that's falling apart. Like, they're not, that relationship's not doing well. Tell me more about disappointed. Tell me more about disappointed. Tell me more about that disappointed. Thank you. I'm telling you, this person's trying to figure out how to reconcile. But this is someone that will ultimately let you down again. And it's like they want to try to... Like, because you've called judgment on this person and they want to try to make you feel bad because you don't, you're, because you want, don't want to tolerate with their bull crap anymore. Like, this is, look at this. This is someone that's wounded you. You're very resilient. You get back up and you keep fighting for yourself. That's what we do. We get knocked down, we get back up. We get knocked down, we get back up. But we keep fighting for what we want. And this person isn't, that they're not liking that you're no longer trying to fix the connection with them anymore. So... This is someone that likes to play the victim. Like, that's this person really likes to manipulate, shame, guilt, trip you. So this person, like, and they, like, throw little temper tantrums when they don't get their way. Like, they expect for you to continue just accepting the bare minimum, and you're not doing that anymore. You want better for yourself. You've been healing. You've been balancing. You're just, you want better. Like, this is not, um, like, I feel like you've been healing and growing, and, like, you just don't look at this person the same anymore. Yeah, you've been changing. And you know that there's better things in store for you. And that's why you're pulling your energy back. Like, and this is someone that 
would prevent you from going towards things that are, you know, meant to line up for you. Like this person served their purpose in, in your life. So this wheel is now turning in your favor because you let them go. And if you take them back, it'll jam this wheel up. We're talking about contemplation. So this is like a jealous energy. Contemplation. Tell me about that. Oh, this person's mad because you're holding back and you left them out in the cold. So this person is trying to figure out how to break the silence between the two of you. Like, this is someone, it was okay when they left you out, held back from you. But now that you're doing it to them, all they, they egos bruised. And if you're talking to somebody new or you're interested in going towards somebody else, like, this person's going to try to get in your head and get you to drop the ball on that. I see fives. Fives are about changes. You could be seeing fives. Fives indicate that you've got changes um, making room in your life here. So just be open to accept those changes. But this person's going to cry. Like this person's doing anything they can to try to make you feel bad. They like to pull on your heartstrings. Trying to flirt their way back in. Like this is someone that communicates very childish. Very childish. And this person knows that you are now detaching from them. Like you're leading from your 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 mindset instead of your heart space here and this person knows this like they're trying to figure out how to have a conversation with you because you're over there just minding your business focusing on yourself growing nurturing yourself just really uh focusing on your finances here and this person's like they're mad because you don't want this connection they're trying to figure out how to get you to take this on to calmer times but you've already moved your life on and now they want to try to come in here and um create this illusion to try to lure you back in but there's something here about you having everything that you need to to create what you're wanting for yourself here and this person's seeing you do this because it's like it's like they're seeing some things but they're not seeing all of it a very selfish person they only care about their wants and needs this person doesn't like that you pour back into yourself that you're good on your own and just the way that everything works out for you like this person just thinks that thinks that things just happen for you easy like you didn't have to pull yourself back up and do all this work on yourself like this person just thinks that you know it's oh they didn't have it that bad it did, well yeah they, they did they did something bad to you so yeah say about mistrust telling you the person's spying on you big time they know that you're keeping your silence and you don't trust this person because you already know that they're they're secretive deception with this person so this person is trying to figure out how to get back into your your energy again like they're trying to figure out how to use their old tactics here you don't trust this relationship and this person wants to try to get you to doubt other connections as well so like there's the loyalty wasn't with this person like you were to them like they didn't have that loyalty like you did and you walked away and this person's like they know that you're done. You're a fixed sign like I am. So when we make our mind up, that's it. And this person knows that you are walked away. You're out of your emotions and you're just turning your back. And now this person wants to try to come in here and fill your headspace with uh, confusions. Trying to create those illusions here. Trying to play the victim. Trying to guilt trip you. Anything that they can to try to pull you back into another cycle of this. And you can't trust this person because they done put you through the ringer and like... So definitely guarded energy when you're dealing with this person, and they know this. They still want you to accept the bare minimum from them. I've got Earth, Fire, Leo, Earth, Scorpio, Earth, Leo again, Air, and Pisces here. So can't trust this person, and they know that. It's like this person don't even want you trusting yourself. They're trying to get you back in this commitment. And there's something here I keep getting about this person wanting you to doubt other connections here. Like this person's caused you a lot of grief and pain, but I feel like they focus more on like things that they know that you may feel bad about. That's what they're going to try to pinpoint on because they know how to pull on your empathy. This person does. And this person knows that you're headed towards some new beginnings here. That's why they're trying to come back and reconcile here with you. This person never gave you closure. People that do that, that do, they do that on purpose. This person didn't expect for you to give yourself the closure and move forward. That's why they're contemplating towards you now. Scorpio. Scorpio. Manifestation. 
manifesting dreams your power is activated everything is flowing easily for you so make sure that you're telling yourself that with that with those inner thought card that came out make sure that you're telling yourself i love how everything works out for me my manifestations they come to me easy effortlessly so make sure that you're just doing those positive affirmations for yourself but your power is activated here and now you got this person trying to come in here and come towards you with this flighty energy we'll call it like like this is a very compulsive energy that's trying to come back here for you like a very risky situation if you take this person back and you know that this person doesn't like how calm you are this person would rather you be reacting and doing something because they know with you being calm like it's, it's over it's done so you're not phased by what they tried to do there's something about your self-control that's really like taking your power back continue doing that and not reacting to any of the negativity that was said about you things done behind your back just not entertaining that anymore tell me more playing games man not serious unsure of their intentions and that's what they want to do they want to try to come in here with this and try to act like they're going to give you a treat but re reality they're going to give you a trick so don't fall for that and you've got a blessed union i felt that there's new energy here you've got a blessed union somebody that you're meant to be together love that transforms somebody you have a divine mission so that's part of your manifestations too for someone here like this blessed union coming in for you tell me more it's like this person knows this so this person tried to like i feel like this person tried to influence outside people about you or they could try to influence you about a new love here because there's something here about listening to other people's opinions and and no longer doing that in this with this connection or with anybody in your life no longer listening to what other people say about anything like pulling back your energy and doing what's right for you here and the grim reaper and saying goodbye to this saying done it's over it's a wrap there could be a divorce here for someone but clearing away the old so cutting this person off for good and clearing out the path so you can open up for these new things coming in here. That's why this person's contemplating towards you so hard here. Scorpio. Self-love. This person doesn't like your self-love. Continue being in that self-love energy. Tell me more. Massive regrets. See, this person wants to try to get you to drop your blessings here. So don't let them... Um, don't let them uh, gaslight you here. But this person's going to try to make you feel like you made a mistake by leaving them behind. Tell me more. Yeah, because you're closing the cycle out. That's what they want to do. And they're trying to get you to, you know, that looks like the forbidden fruit, we'll call it. They're trying to get you to bite that and, and tempt you back into that. Tell me more. Thank you. Love message. So trying to use emotions to try to reel you back in. Some of you guys could be... Uh, messaging a new person or that's what's getting ready to happen here for you tell me more some of you guys got somebody blocked here you could be getting spam calls you could be getting private calls here but this person doesn't like that you've got them blocked off here this person's losing sleep playing uh replaying events over in their head and they would rather you be in this energy like they wanted you to be losing sleep and a lot of you guys did go through this at one time but you pulled yourself out of it tell me more person could try to pop the question they're going to tell you they want marriage and they you know they want the, the long haul with you now but this is a very detached energy hot and cold back and forth off and on that's what they're doing here they're still doing it they want to try to trap you this person wants you to fall back into this trap the shame trap we'll call it very stubborn my way or the highway and you clearly took the highway and they ain't happy with that very selfish very stubborn very arrogant running off of pride and ego and this person doesn't like that you have pride for yourself but you have that pride for yourself because you love yourself it's not ego pride a lot of you guys had your awakening like you had to have your ego death you laid your ego down and you're you started doing that inner work like this person calls a lot of chaos in your life you you went in this downward spiral but now it's only back up from there this person you could have had, you know, picked up some bad habits. That's okay. We, you know, it happens to us. But you could have been trying to cope, to drink, just to, like, not deal with your emotions. This other energy is still doing, like, they're still doing things to try to cope. This person is a Jezebel spirit. This is a very, this is a jealous energy. This is a spiteful, jealous energy that 
wants to like it's like a succubus energy someone that just wants to keep themselves attached to you and just drain you of everything in your life here jezebel spirits no scorpio they want to confuse you they want you to be uncertain they want you to be unclear about things tell me more past life no longer repeating patterns karmic learning from this karmic situation this could be past life lessons you need to be learned this person could have followed you from a past life and i feel like you got a past life lover coming in here this blessed union you got somebody from a past life getting ready to come into your life here that's why this past person is gonna you know go so hard to try to get you back here you've got this these endless possibilities lining up for you your free spirit ready for new adventures ready to you know risk putting your heart back out there again for some of you and that's why this past person wants to mess with your mind this past person wants to distract you from new love they want they'll distract you from everything you've got going on like this person wants nothing more than to take this focus that you have on what you're trying to do with your life they want to distract you this person will put delays in your life if you let them back in. And if you do take this person back, everything's going to switch and change up. Because you're meant to go in this union with someone else here. There it is again. Arrogant, ego, stubborn. Like that's, this person's still in this prideful energy. They could very well tell you that you're the one that's got this energy. It's because you've created boundaries. People that want to tell us that we're too hard to deal with, we're this, we're that. It's because we've created boundaries and they, they're mad that they can't cross them anymore. So this person wants to put you back in la-la land. You could have told this person that you had dreams, that like you had something that you wanted to do with your life, and they could have told you that you can't do that, you can't do that. Don't listen to that bull crap. They only want to tell you that because they can't do it for themselves, so they try to take it from you. This person's trying to figure out how to bring the this, this spark, the attraction back between the two of you. And there's something here about you just going to, you're just going to have a spark with somebody. This, this blessed union, there's just going to be a spark there and you're just going to know. Yeah, this commitment, like this commitment that's coming towards you, you're just going to know that it's for you. And this past person wants to try to ruin it here. So something about you making sure that you lower your guard when, and, and accepting this new love towards you, if that's what you're wanting for yourself here. This past person wants nothing more to keep you in this afraid energy here. So you've got solid foundation that you've been working on here. Family's important to you. Security's important to you. And I feel like you've got this, this person, this new person coming towards you that wants the same things as you do. They want that solid foundation like you. Scorpio, thank you. When the world feels like it's coming crashing down around you, take that as an opportunity to find yourself and let go of who you thought you were. Not all storms come to destroy your life. Some come to clear your path. Decide that this crisis will be the turning point for what you've been waiting for. Hmm? You, will, you, will, bleh. <laughs> you will soon be surprised and grateful for how everything happened the way it did for you to receive better and greater. It's all adding up in your favor. Trust the process and how things are unfolding for you. So trust the process. Beautiful things are making their way towards you. So don't let this person try to come in here and mess with you anymore. So... You know, that is true. When things come crashing down, it's only up from there. So, and I, I like what that card says. Not all storms come to, um, you know, to uh, destroy you. It's Some come to clear your path, and that's clearly what's happening here. So, all right, my beautiful Scorpio, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again, guys. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you guys. I'll see you guys Sunday.